Like I say, uh, uranium actually is very useful, um, or depleted uranium, um, or just just uh, it's dense, 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 dense metal. It's it's the most dense metal you can ever get. Basically, the most pure, most well, it's not pure. I mean, it's basically well, yeah, most pure. I guess. I guess when you get a bunch of one molecule together or something like that, it's very specific kind of kind of kind of things. I mean, most metals are combinations of metals or so or something like that. But uranium is different in that. Like I say, a lot what well, a lot of people consider uh, radiation, all that stuff. It's not really radiation. It's the carbon bond. It's the bonds that that hold the hold the the, the individual molecules together. Um, basically losing their coherence and some of these things are so tightly packed and so like when you get something up to 5,000 degrees the, the, there's this thing that, that, that happens when you get something up to a hundred thousand degrees and then you foundry it or it settles basically and it settled at a, 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 a if it settles at a hundred thousand degrees or a hundred million degrees um, basically basically it's settled there now if you let it cool off and um, or when it cools off, basically, um, you have you know it depends on your temperature, your foundry uh, uh, that 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 that, that, that you're foundering. But basically, some things are so densely packed, and basically all you have to do is heat it up to a thousand degrees again, or a couple hundred thousand degrees, and it basically goes <laughs> bye bye. You know because um, because it's as as it cools, it actually condenses, basically, or something like that. Because, anyway, they're just really heavy molecules or something, or really heavy, heavy particles. Anyway, uranium is, it's, it has to do with the, with, the, with the physical bonds and everything else. But, but that's basically what uranium is, is, is a bunch, of, a bunch of, uh, of molecules that settle to the bottom of really high-end uh, foundry. So there's gold and everything else on top, you know. And then, so basically, as it cools down, it basically condenses, kind of. Or something like that. Uh, it's more of a fluffy metal in, in under heat. Anyway, so all you have to do is heat it up a little bit, and it goes, <coughs> you know, or something like that, or it starts going. You know, you just apply apply a little bit of heat to it, and it'll start to cook off on you. Um, you know, little molecules. Like like I think uranium. You, it's possible you you might be able to take a torch to it, and it'll just start burning or something like that. There's certain metals. It depends on the on the metals and the molecules. I don't know much about it, but basically. Um, in a cooled state, though, it's really hard and it'll never degrade or anything else like that because it's really, it's basically an electromagnetic bond or whatever. But as soon as you heat it up, it goes, you know, or something like that. There's a lot to, to, to metallurgy and stuff that most people don't know. Um, you know, and it's basically, it was a secret for thousands of years. Like I said, talk to a PhD, uh, whatever guy. Anyway, though, in Dubai, I put in a great big spike in the ground because I had so much of it and you can't really like it's kind of dangerous um I mean well I mean I think it has a residual well it's always well the the thing is that the molecules are always just going to go mm, I don't want to be here anymore fuck this <laughs> so because like 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 it's so tensely packed or whatever that the molecules don't really want to be there you know I mean just even the smallest little thing and then you go <laughs> gone Anyway, though, or something like that. It's it, it, it's something where, where where there's so many molecules all together that that and they're just being held by these other molecules that occasionally they'll just decide to just go. You know what? I don't want to be here, and they're gone. And when they do that, they go a long ways, basically at great violent violent speed. Because you know, anyway, it's, it's complicated. You know, so basically there's a uranium spike I put it in the ground or something like that. And basically, you know, as long as it stays cool, it's fine. You, you put a heat source around it and it'll go up <laughs> like a Roman candle. Uh, and so he built a building and basically it's got, they, they call it the Roman candle building because, because it ever, if, it, if it ever gets above a certain, uh, certain temperature, it'll basically go <laughs> because it's using, it uses a uranium spike or something like that. Um, so <laughs> fire is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> but they encase the uranium and steel in, in, in a steel shield and basically a um, a uh, a a uh, concrete shield and all this other stuff. So it's pretty much safe and it's fine. But basically, if if you ever did go, it'd go and <laughs> take out like half the city. If it ever, if there ever was a fire there, and the, and that's what one of the reasons why there's building and spike. Because if the if the building ever caught fire and burned, 
and it got the heat too close to the spike, the spike would go <laughs> like a Roman candle. <laughs> and it's in Dubai. But nobody really cares because, you know, you know, and they have a bunch of artwork there and a bunch of other stuff there and they did a bunch of stuff there and but nobody really wants to be there and, and, and they have to use they use salt water a lot or whatever. And um, anyway, whatever. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of interesting things about the world that, that most people don't really understand. Uh, I think that was partly my idea, the little waterfall or whatever. It's kind of a cool little effect. Anyway, whatever. There's a lot of these places where, 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 where eventually they'll, they'll probably just be destroyed or whatever. You know, the only reason why people were there was because of the opium. And they built... You know the opium freaks like to be there, and they like to use their little opium, which is fine. I like I, li I like little opium freaks. I love little opium freaks. I love cocaine freaks. I mean, I wouldn't have created the drugs without you know if I if I didn't want my people to be able to use the drugs because ninety percent of life is boredom or basically you know it's it's like what else are you gonna do? I mean, um, and it was raining at the time and miserable for a lot of people. And eventually, you know, through technology and invention, we made it so it's not not miserable anymore and um and i have exo had exoskeletons that i could enforce the laws and enforce this enforce that and keep everything basically peaceful enough that you know humanity and my life forms or our life forms in general could spring up around it so anyway mostly believe it or not it was actually my exoskeletons that that basically if you attack them you die so nobody attacked them, nobody attacked other people, and pretty much, you know, I basically kept the peace from, you know, kept the world from going psycho for a very, very long time, long enough that I actually got a foothold. So anyway, so, you know, I'm not just, uh, I'm not just the, uh, the LSF, uh, I mean, uh, colony ship, but I'm also like the savior of, of, of many life forms and also like purveyor of peace and, and what would, would be considered the savior. Like I said, Bill Gates was going around as as savior, but he wasn't really a savior of anything. Actually, he had um, uh, uranium bullets or whatever, you know, that would kill everybody in the room, and that's pretty much why everyone feared him or whatever. Uh, was was that his people had those bullets, and like I said, you could fire those bullets through a crowd or in a stadium, and half the people there would die from little tiny little needle marks. Uh, the Chinese or the Japanese used to call them a thousand needles, or a thousand paper cuts. Uh, you can you can look up the bullets under that basically, and that's when that's what they knew them as. And basically, you know, one shot, thousand kills, pretty much. Uh, yeah, you could easily kill a thousand people with one of these things. Just a forty-five caliber gun. Just take a forty-five caliber gun, take one of the starlight shells and in, inside of it, and then pop. And it's uranium and a couple other things, and then pop. And then basically, as the bullets travel. Thousands of little sparklers go off of it and basically put uh, millions of needle marks into every uh, everything that, that 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 it goes by so Anyway, yeah, it's more than more psycho psycho shells and I basically uh, actually moved to outlaw it basically uh, as well because I mean they're my shells I designed them I invented them, you know They were just because I had all this other stuff and we were messing around with uranium yeah, Zachary or Bill Gates gets a hold of them, and then they actually start using them, which is like, are you fucking nuts? Kills everyone. Like, but they didn't. But they were fucking nuts, and they really didn't give a fuck. They just wanted to be rich and powerful. So, and they killed a lot of people. Like I said, you know, in an open in an open crowd, they would go, <laughs> and basically everybody in the whole place would die, basically just from one of these bullets. Just one bullet. Just one. That's all it would take. You know, it has metal that heats up and then it starts shooting off these little needles. A thousand needles. Anyway, Japanese knew about them. Chinese know about them. Everyone would eventually know about them because they're really fucking dangerous. Like, you shoot them off and basically they're... They don't really care about who they shoot or, I mean, who died. You know, it's just a thousand needles. They call, they're called a thousand needles or a thousand paper cut bullets. And they were outlawed by pretty much everyone because, like, they don't distinguish anything. Like, everyone dies. Um, uh, anyway, they're really dangerous. And I, I think when you fire them, you actually have to move. Like, if you, like, like it even backtracks sometimes or something like that. There's something about the particles, the way, you know, that's why, that's why you, most people use them from a tank, because you need a shield or something between you and it. And basically, you need to fire and move or something like that, or else it... <laughs> 
there's a hole in me. Uh, you know, they're really, really dangerous. 